everybody, welcome back to the workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this robotic hand. So first, get yourself a strip of cardboard and cut them. Not all the way, just slip them like this so now it bends at the sides. Then cut triangular slits, at least four of them along the way, indicating each digit of the pivot of your finger. Then stick a skewer right in the tip of the finger, just like that, and then just snip it about that much. Then cut two small little pieces of the skewer, just like this, and then glue them right on each pivot of the digit of the finger. And then just go ahead and tape or glue pieces of cardboard to cover up the rest of the fingers, and then just duplicate it. Just like that. As you can see, my second attempt is clearly a lot smoother and cleaner than the first one. And then add another pin at the lower part of the finger, tie a string to it, and then slip it underneath all of those crevices so it reaches out in the bottom like that. So when you pull this string, it should bend the finger. You're gonna wanna do this to both of the fingers. So now I have this plate of cardboard just like this and I bent it at the edges. You might wanna even out the bends a little bit, but just like this and then glue the two fingers from these digits right here a little bit forward up just for a base for this to sit on. Now, forget about these guys right here on the joints or bend like that. You should add a skewer stick. Make sure you shove it all the way through the cardboard point right there of a skewer, a point there, so it's not close to the uh, pivot right here. But uh, then you're gonna add two more right here, just so you know there's stress. Uh, these are where the rubber bands are gonna go. And the reason there's two is so you can distribute the weight evenly, so not just one is carrying all the weight of the rubber bands. And then just one right here, and then one at the tip right here. And notice how they're not close together to the pivots right here, they're far away. Uh, so the rubber bands are pulling like this inward, so it keeps the finger up, and when you pull the strings, it will enclose the finger like this, and when you release, it will automatically flip back up. Now these guys right here are just so it doesn't go too far back, because remember it is made out of cardboard, as you can see. But the uh, skewers right here, they go all the way down this, uh, through the cardboard, just like every single one of these, and then I glued it in place with some hot glue. But uh, yeah, those are where the skewers are. I'm going to show you where to place the rubber bands. So you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a few rubber bands. You can get a big pack of 200 from Staples or hardware store or something like that or a craft store. So um, the reason all these points are here is so I can show you real fast. You're going to want a two add a rubber band, one rubber band from the point right there all the way back to the first uh, point right there and then you're going to want to get another rubber band and then you're gonna twist it And then you're gonna fold it over to double up the strength and that is going to go from this one To that one the strongest amount of force pulling on a digit or a pivot is Right between the base of the hand to the finger because that's where most of the weight is being uh, Stressed on and then one more rubber band will be pulling back on all that so you only need to get one more rubber band, put it on the first point right there, and all the way to the back one at the base of the hand right there. And that's how it should look, and that's how it should be. So when you grab the string right here that you pass through the entire uh, finger, when you pull it, it will close just like so. Or you're shrinking the amount of string there is, and the only, the only uh, way this can move is where there, there are those um, Gouges right there. So when you pull It shall enclose just like so and when you let go without me doing anything else It should automatically recline just for the automatic robotic movement So next you're going to want to get yourself a very large plate of cardboard and I cut mine like this So you can still see the skewers on the top and it was supposed to fit the hand underneath like this so I can get it in place and then those sticks are supposed to stick out over so I can still put the rubber bands on and then you have to cut out the shape I don't necessarily know how to explain what shape it is but you can go ahead and glue it right there and cut some holes for the strings to go through 
And then I hooked up those strings to some zip ties like this and make sure that it's big enough and they're flexible so you can fit both of your fingers in just like that. Okay, so I now made a thumb, which is a little bit wider, but now that you know how to make the fingers, it's essentially the same exact thing. You can design it the way you want to. It's just this one has three joints as well, but one of them isn't as long because it only has two joints, like your thumb, even though it is opposable like this. But uh, yeah, otherwise, same concept, that's all. Then I'm going to cut a very large slot for the thumb, somewhere pretty low, like right about here. So um, I added this handle right here, which is just a roll of uh, cardboard and a piece of tape to hold together. So then I have this piece of cardboard that will cover up all this mess right here. And then that should almost be the finishing detail for now. Okay, so I have all the rubber bands hooked up, as you can see, so if I close the finger like this, and it should just move back up on its own, that goes for the thumb as well. So we'll flip it over, and this is what it looks like. And then the zip ties are um, sticking out right here. This one right here goes to the thumb. As you can see, this one is the index finger. Pretty smooth. And then this one is the uh, other finger, which can count as either fingers. But I'm going to put it on. So when I pull my fingers closed, it closes those fingers as well. Now there are actual uses for the robotic hand. I could potentially put it onto the right arm of my mech suit just to make it a lot more snazzy because currently it's just a big block for like a fist. But uh, it might not be able to grab stuff, but it'll add a lot more detail. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these builds that I do, like and subscribe for more videos.